if you open up the New Testament, you might be surprised because it begins not in a compelling sort of way, at least not to us modern readers. You have a genealogy. So if you're doing Bible in the One Year with me, open up Matthew 1, the chapter we read today, and you have this long list of generations beginning with Abraham and then culminating in the birth of Christ. Now, what might seem odd to us as modern readers is not at all odd if you know the Old Testament because it's full of genealogies. And this is Matthew's way of compressing in one chapter the entire Old Testament history from Abraham, the promise made to him, to finally the fulfillment of all God's promises in the birth of Jesus, the Messiah. So Matthew has condensed the entire Old Testament history down to this one genealogy as a way of preaching to us that all the time of waiting for God's Messiah has now come to an end in the birth of Jesus. Also, you may have noticed that Matthew makes a big deal about there being 14 generations from Abraham to David, from David to the deportation to Babylon, and from the deportation to the coming of the Christ. Why 14? One possibility is that the numerical value of the three consonants in David's name adds up to 14. Another possibility is that there are, in fact, four, 14 generations from Abraham to David, and so maybe he used that as kind of a structure for the other two parts of that genealogy. Either way, this genealogy is a sermon in and of itself. It preaches that the Old Testament has prepared us for Christ, and now that preparation is at an end because Christ has come.